Hi SD fans and welcome back. It's been a while since we did a What's New Roundup due to, well, nothing really being released onto the market. However, this last month or so, there has been a flurry of releases. So in this video, I'm going to present an overview of all those we have featured in the magazines over the past few weeks. Now we've not dived any of these, this is purely to whet your appetite. I'll be conducting some in-water tests with the dive kit later on in the year. First up, a new regulator from Mares. The Atlas 62X features an all metal second stage that has a control knob to allow the diver to tune the performance and features Mares renowned VAD or Vortex Assisted Design system for natural breathing. According to them, the bypass tube delivers gas to the mouthpiece, creating a swirling vortex with a low pressure area in the center that pushes the diaphragm down during inhalation. The Pearl Chrome Finish Twin Balance Piston First Stage is environmentally sealed for better performance on cold water dives. And while it is compact and lightweight, it has pre-orientated low pressure and high pressure ports. There's natural DFC, or dynamic flow control in Maris speak, on all the low pressure ports, which ensures high airflow regardless of depth. An AST, or auto sealing technology, which avoids water entering the first stage if you accidentally submerge it when it's not on a cylinder. Fourth element are well known for their wetsuits, dry suits and undergarments. But now the company has made its first foray into diving hardware with the Scout Mask. As you'd expect with it being fourth element, it's not just a straightforward dive mask. We all know that diving in caves is a far different experience from snorkeling in tropical seas. Likewise, diving in lower visibility temperate waters is different from the near unlimited visibility of certain blue water locations. The lens system in the Scout Dive Mask is designed to deliver an optimised experience for different conditions when diving whether that's for underwater photographers looking to maximise light transmission or wreck divers needing to enhance their perception of dimly lit surroundings. The Scout is a single lens frameless mask that has an angle profile to maximise the field of view and a soft silicon skirt for optimised comfort and fit. There are four lenses to choose from. First up you've got Shield, which is anti-UV and anti-glare and it was apparently inspired by the gold visors of NASA astronauts, although I immediately thought of the Halo computer game. That'd be a good name for a mask, but they already have an undersuit with that moniker. The shield lens provides UV protection and reduces glare, making it fully suited to tropical and warm water environments, for shallower diving and for snorkeling in bright conditions. Then you've got Clarity, which is a pure clear lens designed to maximise the amount of transmitted light without any tint from impurities in the glass. The Clarity is the ideal lens for night divers and photographers and is also the perfect lens for teaching, allowing students and instructors to clearly see each other's eyes. Then there's Contrast, which is anti-UV and designed to filter out some of the mid-range wavelengths of light in the visible spectrum and the lens has a green appearance. Now particularly when diving in temperate waters, images seen through the lens show an increase in contrast, accentuating brighter and darker areas an increase in the perception of visual acuity. And finally, there's Enhance, anti-UV and anti-HEV. Filtering ultraviolet and high energy visible radiation, the Enhance lens is designed to protect the eye and enhance the visual experience. It's well known that UV has a damaging effect on the eye, but it has also been shown that HEV light can interfere with the lutein proteins in the eye and alter them. So filtering out this high energy radiation can help to preserve your optical health. Then there's the mask strap to choose from. There are various colour options of an elasticated strap that is made using rubber and recycled nylon, with clips made from recycled waste ABS plastic from the automotive industry. These clips have also been designed so that they will fit most mask buckles from other brands. Even a mask box is special. The Scout comes in a mask box that is designed to replace the plastic boxes that are supplied with so many masks. Low profile and protective, this case will protect the lens, thanks to its cushioned half shell, without creating bulk, 
which means it can fit in the foot pocket of most fins for convenient transport to the dive site. Great idea. Scuba Pro's STEC technical diving program reinvents the classic backplate and wing system with a clever design focused on adjustability, fit and comfort. A comprehensive line of accessories rounds out the collection, offering a unified program for tech divers. The revolutionary design combines premium materials and durable construction with purest features and technology, like 3D form backplates with fully radiused edges, softened organic shape and recessed wing nut socket to increase diver comfort, angle webbing slots, optimised webbing, webbing harness threading, offering greater comfort and reduces webbing abrasion over time. And durable STEC donuts feature rounded profiles, allowing for smooth controlled air migration and a new best in class Scuba Pro designed K style inflator. The STEC is available as a Pro system with molding mon preem pads that cushion the shoulders, waist, and back for increased comfort, and highly adjustable tech lock shoulders that contribute to a snug individualized fit. And as a Pure system, which has a continuous webbing harness and stainless steel waist buckles that provide a custom individualized fit. A comprehensive line of accessories rounds out the collection. And this includes single tank adapter, bungee regulator necklace, low profile or cold water stage kits, trim weight kits, pro fluid form weight system, expedition thigh pocket, expedition reels, spinner spools, cookie monster and arrow monster markers, glide D-ring and bolt snap hardware, and exclusive color kits for those who want to add a bit of vibrancy into their gear. It's not just Scuba Pro that's releasing new backplate and wing systems. Hollis is also showcasing three new units in 2022 the ST, the ST Elite, and the DT. According to Hollis, when it came to designing new buoyancy systems, they sought to create gear that would meet its user where they're at as a diver. Whether the user is a single tank diver, a twin cylinder diver diving in the Caribbean, or locally in cold water, Hollis has tailored these systems to the type of diving they'll be doing. The ST system is designed for minimalistic minded divers who prioritize streamlining their kit for the ultimate in traditional simplicity. It features a continuous weave solo harness with no buckles that can fail and no extra parts that aren't needed. An ultra streamlined single tank SC wing rounds out the system with a perfect balance of horizontal trim and surface flotation. The ST comes pre-assembled from the factory and includes unique components depending on the user's desired configuration. So that's aluminium or steel backplate, 22 pound or 35 pound wing. Choice is yours. The ST Elite brings together the most popular Hollis single tank components into a single system. However, instead of the solo harness, Hollis has added the luxurious and adjustable Elite 2 harness, yielding a result similar to what you'd expect from a full featured BCD. For divers coming from the recreational world of single tank diving using a traditional jacket BCD, this gives the same harness style, but on a backplate for added stability. The ST Elite system also gives its owner a ton of options for customization depending on their diving style, in case it changes over time. So again, you can choose backplate material and wing capacity. For twin set diving, the Hollis DT system is minimal and simple and designed for the rigorous demands of the discerning doubles diver. Made tough, it comes with all the components for a backplate and wing kit in one, pre-assembled from the factory. It features a new DT50 doubles wing with 50 pounds of lift and with a radical redesign, it's ideal for various size double cylinders and colder waters. Alternatively, users can opt for the DT45 dual wing, which offers 45 pound of lift via its double bladder. Techline is a brand which has been around for quite a while, but it's set to make a splash with its latest lineup of kit. Particularly noteworthy are their fins. The Jetstream fins are classic tech fins, very reminiscent of the trusty old jet fin, with a broad and surprisingly springy blade. They have a durable stainless steel spring strap with a large rubber thumb loop for easing donning and doffing. These come in traditional techy black, but for those wanting to add a bit of colour into their ensemble, they are also available in bright yellow, a vivid red and vibrant orange. The Powerjet again follows the jet fin styling, but it has a longer blade and comes in three different compounds, soft, medium, and hard, with Techline warning that the latter requires the diver to be really fit. These have a stainless steel spring strap as well, but covered in material and with a large tab to aid with putting them on and off. These follow the Henry Ford mantra, 
You can have any colour you want, as long as it's black. Last but not least, there are the light jet fins. These again have that classic jet fin look, but have been designed to combine the advantages of a tech fin with the lightness of a recreational fin. They are made from a new flexible material which is produced from recycled materials and is 100% recyclable. The light jets have the same stainless steel spring strap as the jet stream fins, but also have a hole in the tip of the blade for hanging them up during storage or when they are drying. They come in black or white. So that's our latest roundup of new diving related kit coming your way in 2022. Anything that takes your fancy? Leave your comments below and if you've got a question, fire away. We can't answer it, maybe someone in our community will be able to help you out. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Ring that notification bell so you know when we put up a new video. And don't forget you can grab a free digital magazine subscription in the description below. As always, stay safe. And if you're going diving, enjoy.